Hey, welcome back to DIY RV and Home. Today, we're cooking with Greg. We're not in the kitchen, though. We're out at the campsite, and we're cooking on our Blackstone. It's breakfast time, menu, French toast. Let's get it going. Now, if you have a favorite recipe, go ahead and use that. The recipe we were out at the campsite didn't have anything, so we winged it. I grabbed four eggs, threw them in, some heavy whipping cream, along with that, a couple capfuls of vanilla extract. As a footnote, we are adding some ne more vanilla extract next time we do cook these. Along with that, into the pan, we're putting the cinnamon. We're putting the goodness into it. Put as much as you like. Go by your recipe. For us, that looked like that was enough. Now, grab your favorite stir utensil, whether it be a stick off the ground, your spoon, spatula, I don't know, whatever, and give it mixed up. Mix it very well. Get it all well incorporated because you want all that goodness on each piece of that toast. Now, Talking about toast, oh, let me backtrack. Let's get some butter. Let's throw it down on that griddle. Of course, the griddle was preheating this whole time. Got it set on high. Okay, now, let's get back to that toast. For us, we use Texas toast. You use the toast you like. You use the toast that you're used to. You know, everyone has their own palate. So, for us, Texas toast. Grab three slices each. We were a little hungry that morning. And now, grab a spatula, start to spread that butter all over. Now, if you don't want to use butter, okay, you can use whatever you want as a nice oil on the griddle. Okay, once I got it all spread out, now I'm going to take, I'm just going to dunk these in real quick. Flip them over so I can get that batter on both sides. Then drop it right on the griddle. Okay, that griddle, about 350, 375 is where it was at. So... Very nice temperature. Boom, boom. I got six of those laid down. I still got a little bit of uh, batter in there. You'll see what I do with that later on. Now, let's get these all flipped over. Of course, we don't want to brown, burn them, but we do want to get them cooked through. So, here I am, moving them, getting them flipped. Now, next, I'm just kind of moving them around. Uh, as you got stuff sitting on the blackstone, it is going to cool off just a little bit. So I'm just kind of moving around, keeping it nice and heat. There was a little bit of wind, so it was cooling the griddle off a little bit. Uh, I got an idea for that. Yep, coming. As you notice, there's seven pieces of toast down there. I took one of the ends of the bread and I threw some uh, batter on that and I threw that down. I don't mind them ends, those are good ends too. So. Boom, got that. Now, once they were cooked, and this is through the magic of video that they're done, let's go ahead and get those plated up. Now, for my wife, she likes the uh, maple syrup on hers. Me, I like a fruit uh, syrup. So, that's how I did mine, and that's how she did hers. Folks, that's it. That's, that's how simple it is. If you guys like the video, please like it, hit that subscribe button, and share the video. And remember, Blackstone's where it's at. Guess what? Here's the final result. Mmm, goodness right there. That was breakfast. See you at the next meal.